Hi guys, Farmer Ruth here from Cannonall Farm, but we're not at Cannonall Farm. As you can see, we're at Flamingo Land and we're now with outside the enclosure where the keepers are now catching up our banded mongoose. It sounds very calm in there, so hopefully they'll still be as calm when we get back and back to the farm. So there's a lot of nerves here, guys, because we've not looked after mongoose at the Cannonall Farm before, but they're all in the same family. So the meerkats, they're, but they're in the same genus, so they're both in the same family, so they've got similar needs. However, this is a bit of a learning curve for us. We know they've got a little bit more pointy teeth. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to have his wits about them. We're starting off with five males at the minute with the hope that we can move some females in later, but we'll, we'll just see how we go. We've got a diet plan for them. Um, the Flamingo Land have sent them out for us. Uh, so we're, Kate's been looking at all the diets. She's got all them there. So fingers crossed we can get them right back safely. But let them settle down and you guys can see them more or less straight away. Yeah, we don't really have anything for most bugs. Like the all the otters have kind of water names. Captain Right, okay. Yeah, has very few toes. Right, okay. But yeah, and then we've got like a journey and protein. Oh, yeah, 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 to keep looking. Yeah. <laughs> to keep looking. Yeah. 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 Oh, it isn't. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, oh, ladies. Yeah. Take care. See you. Right, guys, we've got the four mongoose like, uh, loaded up, but there's actually just four, not five, which is fine, not a problem. Um, so we, the, all the data sheets and everything has been emailed across. So all that's left for us to do is get back to the farm and get them unloaded. They were a bit grumpy while being loaded, so they're not uh, friendly at the minute, but I'm sure they'll be fine as soon as they get back to the farm. nearly home, uh, we're nearly back at the farm, uh, excited to get them back um, and excited to get out of the car actually because they're quite smelly in the car shall we say so there's quite an odour at the minute uh, so we'll be, I'll be grateful to uh, to get back and get my mask off and into some fresh air but yeah very excited to get them back uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get when we're there Right guys, we're back home. We've got the mongoose here. We're gonna get them out of the car and put them in the new enclosure. So we'll uh, get them out of the car. Hello. We're okay. Right. When they go into the new enclosure, I think we might be a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit like, oh, what's this? But I'm sure they'll be fine. As you can see, they're already up and sniffing around. Look, we're saying, oh, this is a new place. Yeah. So we're going to go and put them down now and then we're going to open the doors and let them come out. We're not going to make them come out, let them come out so that it's when they're comfortable. Right, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to open, take the tie wraps off the boxes, then I'm going to let them explore their new enclosure and see what they are. We're not going to tip them out, like I said, we're just going to let them go out. They might run out or they might just actually stop still and just have to take stock of what they're doing and then go. So we'll, we'll see. Now then. Four males. Four males. Four males, yeah. No, they're very shy. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a massive move for them, so they're, they're going to be a little bit wary, a bit, a bit uh, anxious. So we're just going to let them come out. I've just asked for Kate to bring up some little bit of food, because they've not had much to eat today, according to the keepers. Uh, so we'll just put some food out, and so hopefully that might settle them a bit more. But it's just a waiting game. They just need to settle down, that's all. <laughs> So one's come out um, and gone straight underneath. So I've just got some tasty streaks for them. See what to see if they're interested in these, and we'll see if this will settle them down on a bit. Come on then. I'm tempted. <laughs> The last part of the time I've probably out it goes. So the first two have gone into the tubes and they're sitting gone straight there. And actually it's come back out again. So we're gonna take this lid off this one and see if we can get the other two to come out. They look really really comfy in here as you can see they're not wanting to move at all. Um I don't know if you can hear in the background the other digging in the tunnels already. So we'll uh, we'll see if we can give them a bit longer and see if they'll come out. Well 
cái nó không quấn được Right guys, they're in. Really excited. They've gone straight underground, which is what we expected them to do. There'll be a lot of noise and some little shyness, but hopefully, as they get used to everything, they'll get come out and you'll be able to see them. Now, some of your visitors have actually seen them as we've let them go, so they were lucky enough to see them when the clear face came. But like I said, guys, as soon as they settled in, I hope you all see them. Thanks for joining us today, guys. It's been nice to have you come along and see what we do when we go and pick up the animals. So hope to see you very soon and I'm on Goose.